Each day I look on with an ever increasing enthusiasm and passion for digital continuity. Over the last few years, I've consistently shared my love of working with some of the great innovators and tried to provide solutions that help accelerate the creation and delivery of these new smarter and more personalized products that we all want. Today, it's great to be part of some of the progressive and innovative products created and to see how organizations and supply chains have responded to the dramatically new market conditions and shifts in supply and demand. Everywhere, I am seeing a revitalized appreciation of the importance of maintaining digital continuity. In your digital innovative product lifecycle journey, changes can be adopted relatively quickly and at a detailed level, often through new software functions or applications. However, at a higher level, the changes to your general strategic processes or overall business approach often happen ecosystem-wide and it does take more time. The COVID era exposed so many weaknesses across our modern organizations, but the one area that stood out for me was a lack of seamless integration and therefore the true digital continuity. Today, it's broken. Silos remain throughout too many enterprises. Design thinking is disconnected from CAD, from engineering, and from the whole product lifecycle approach. And that's before we even talk about manufacturing and ERP or even CRM. It's led to a move away from the manufacturer-based supply chain ecosystems. Companies have been essentially working with disconnected supply data that makes digital continuity almost impossible. What I'm seeing and hearing each day is firstly marketing teams struggling to understand customers' expectations and opinions which means they can give meaningful customer feedback to product design teams. Secondly, engineering and design teams are unable to harness IoT data, and when they want to improve product performance, they must rely on purely product testing alone. The data flowing between design, engineering, production, and after sales is often incomplete or incorrect. And three, production planning isn't closely tied to demand. Teams lack insight into inventory levels because there's no smooth flow of information between planning, execution, and warehouse management. And lastly, customer service and satisfaction levels are low. And this has a knock-on effect on company reputations. Product lifecycle management is too often limited to fixing items that are under warranty. Obsolete and disconnected processes mean many companies aren't ready for the new ongoing fourth industrial revolution and they're gonna get left behind. So why are businesses struggling to achieve digital continuity? For me, there are three main blockers. Firstly, an inability to synchronize functions, activities early in the design and development stage. Second, another blocker is creating, accessing, and reusing information on how products were designed, manufactured, and serviced. And thirdly, it's difficult accessing data from products and customers to drive innovation. In fact, only 25% of manufacturers are using data to deliver actionable insights on product innovation, and 60% of those confirm analytics is just not being generated at any intelligent level. Tracking and managing all of the digital data requires new capabilities and mindsets. Stop the silos and build teams. The move is to where organizations collaborate in real time within the same digital environment and on the same virtual product data set industry-derived PLM processes that are built into a single platform. It's where all of your stakeholders can simplify operations by using these more generic, out-of-the-box industry processes designed to support a data-driven, model-based approach. See you next week.